Hello traders and welcome to the weekly market overview with me Pierre at PAFX. We have a bumpy week ahead of us so uh, we need to get uh, prepared. As usual we will take a look at all the majors including gold and uh, oil. And uh, before we get started I want to thank all of you for the comments and the likes. Uh, again keep them coming guys. Uh, where I roll the intro and disclaimer you will have the time to do so and if you're new to the channel do not forget to subscribe yeah see you there so welcome back guys uh, the main reason I'm saying a bumpy week ahead of us is um, because of these news events that we're gonna get uh, the most important ones uh, Wednesday FOMC um, and uh, a really important event to keep an eye at of course Thursday we have the parliament election for uh, important for the sterling because um, if uh, things to keep going as um, as it looks right now and uh, if uh, Boris Johnson to win a um, majority uh, the uh, bullish continuation on the sterling to continue also on Thursday we have uh, the monetary uh, policy statement for the euro and the main uh, refinancing rate followed by a press conference uh, that you really want to keep an eye at uh, Thursday as well, Governor Paulos to speak and uh, on Friday core retail sales and retail sales for the US. So as you see very big events, do not forget the uh, trade talks uh, as well which have um, a deadline also the 15th of December if Trump gonna keep those tariffs or not. So um, there is uh, a lot going on and you really need to keep an eye on those events. So if we start with the short and always with the Dixie as usual we see that um, uh, last week uh, the Dixie been um, pretty weak we had a break below previous structure here so this double bottom we had a break of the neckline and um, the only bullish candle was on Friday during the uh, NFP release we got um, a nice uh, strong uh, bullish candle uh, because we had a pretty strong uh, NFP reading I think uh, all of you uh, been watching this for sure but there was uh, a big surprise here as you see in the uh, headline itself also the unemployment rate back to 3.5 the only thing was uh, the hourly uh, average um, the average hourly earning which came a, little, uh, a bit lower than expected but there was revisions uh, for the previous months uh, to 0.4 and also revisions uh, to uh, 156k uh, on the uh, non farm unemployment chains as well so both these was uh, revised higher as well that's that's why we've got this very strong push uh, to the upside but all in all, uh, after uh, after that move, um, we see that the Dixie uh, is now back uh, and testing a key structure area here. This uh, level been tested many times, and uh, after such a big uh, move to the downside, one could expect uh, some kind of correction back to the uh, to the upside here. So uh, for next week, um, I think we need to keep an eye at around uh, this area here if uh, the dollar to push one more time and fail to make a new high at this level around the 98 area if there is a failure of a new high i'm expecting possible continuation to the downside um, especially if there is no clear um, uh, phase one deal uh, to be done uh, to keep an eye on uh, on that level also we have the fomc on uh, wednesday uh, and uh, there is no expectation for hikes, uh, but we want to uh, listen and see what a kind of language uh, Powell will use is if there is some kind of language talking about uh, uh, a hold in the rate hikes um, to come, then that would also be um, uh, bearish uh, for uh, the dollar. But all in all, we're still in a ranging marking market at the moment, so we have this range for the dollar to keep an eye at what's important here that uh, after the break of this uh, bullish uh, move to the upside we've been trying to make a new highs failed here once again double top break of the neckline 
and I'm expecting one possible leg to the downside. Anything below this that will signal a big continuation to the downside on the dollar. And for more upside, it needs to take out this level up here around the 98.50. That area is uh, the uh, bias changer here to 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 uh, for the dollar for that continuation to the upside to happen. Yeah. So keep an eye on uh, both these levels. This is the key uh, resistance. This is the key support and in between there is a possibility that you see something like this or a move back up to then um, meet a key resistance level on uh, the dollar oil <clears throat> still inside this uh, bullish channel uh, i still think uh, the 60 is a key level here uh, this area gonna be watched next week closely now we have the uh, opec meetings are done uh, we still see uh, oil uh, ranging uh, moving inside this channel i would say and uh, again the 60 gonna be a key level here for a possible resistance and maybe um, a leg to the downside so keep watching this level as you see here we had this range and there was an attempt to break higher uh, it broke higher on the four hour time frame and still there is a possibility that you see uh, a retest to this level to then look for one more leg to to the upside but around the 60 area be aware of possible rejection once again to the downside that is what i'm watching on uh, this market for next week gold also failing to make new highs here uh, as you see a retest of this broken structure happened again last week it failed to make a new high and still going sideways we still have a possible range here in play uh, to keep an eye at so uh, as um, as i mentioned uh, after this uh, break we were talking about retest and maybe another leg to the downside we've got that it came a little bit chai below and then last week we had uh, another uh, retest and also fails to make new high and uh, there is a possibility that we uh, see gold uh, moving back down toward uh, 1450 area this is the key support uh, this is the main range for uh, gold at the moment so it is a uh, ranging market for um, more than two weeks now and uh, until we see a break out of this range it will uh, continue to be the same buy low uh, sell high until uh, you have a break out either to the upside or break below this to keep moving lower toward the 1430 area for uh, gold okay so uh, pretty clear uh, it is a ranging market but if uh, the break uh, below this area happen then we may see uh, gold pushing a little bit lower toward uh, this uh, level of interest just below a monthly s1 around the uh, 1430 area and we see that the 200 moving average on the daily getting closer and closer so if uh, both of them meets at that same level then i'm looking for a possible uh, bounce to the upside once again as for now short term as you see we're still in this um, bearish move and uh, right now we have this range to uh, keep an eye at okay so keep it simple wait for a breakout if it doesn't happen then we keep playing the range euro usd on the weekly time frame also a ranging market uh, looking at the past uh, four weeks uh, we're still in a ranging market at the moment daily time frame the opposite as the dixie so after this double top uh, it failed to make a new high here as you see and the market pushed lower breaking below the neckline to then start uh, making another double bottom here and a break above the neckline um, happened uh, during thursday to then friday get the uh, nfp numbers and um, a bearish engulfing uh, candle on the daily time frame so even here we have a, a pretty cl cl clear range to keep an eye at if the euro keep pushing to the downside keep an eye on this level for possible buys down here uh, is an important area for uh, the bulls and uh, resistance is up here for uh, the bears to pull at uh, 1.1120 uh, so uh, these are the levels for now until um, next week until we see a break out of it there is uh, both um, both uh, euro and the us gonna have uh, their own catalyst for that uh, breakout if to happen first we have the fomc to then on thursday have the 
um, refinance uh, and um, fund rate and the uh, press conference uh, that gonna be for sure a, a possible catalyst uh, previously when these events happens at the same time we see that, that uh, the FOMC usually let's say uh, push the price down to then get the ECB and we see the price uh, moving back up from major levels and in my opinion the first major level to watch is uh, this area down here around the uh, 1.10 level uh, and the uh, 1.1120 up here is your resistance yeah so so um, don't make much decisions here in between uh, the better way is to play the edge of these ranges sterling also uh, bullish and as i said uh, depends on uh, the elections on uh, thursday now the expectation that uh, around um, 10 pm uh, gmt to start uh, getting the um, um, the polls from uh, the, um, the exit polls and um, at that time you may see a possible um, uh, reaction the big reaction will uh, start happening at that time because um, as soon as the the exit polls start coming we will uh, see a possible um, who is winning who is losing and uh, the the final results may be around 3 a.m gmt uh, to uh, to get the confirmation so um, during uh, the night um, uh, in uh, London you need to be aware of these uh, possible uh, fast movements so be uh, very careful on uh, Thursday night because um, that will um, the, the sterling gonna move a lot uh, if we just gonna look at the technicals right now I see the 1.300 as a key level so any correction toward this area that is uh, your possible buy level for that continuation if we uh, to trust the polls we have at the moment then uh, the bullish continuation is what to expect uh, but um, yeah you know the polls uh, they are not always right most of the time uh, they've been showing that uh, they are failing so uh, be aware of that and uh, be careful on what you risk and not uh, during uh, such an event so again uh, for next week uh, any correction back down toward uh, this area 1.300 that is your possible buy level uh, but if uh, the, uh, <coughs> the vote happened to be totally different of uh, the polls uh, we have right now that could signal a uh, very strong bearish move to the downside for the sterling so um, until then uh, this may keep going sideways until uh, Thursday when we start getting the real uh, results of those elections uh, numbers. Um, UJ, as um, <coughs> as uh, the start of the week, a, a bearish uh, move to the downside with a bearish uh, engulfing day to then close below the 200 moving average. And on Friday, even though we had a uh, pretty strong NFP numbers, we had the first spike was uh, to the upside uh, this is the nfp candle here as you see it's marked on the chart so there was a nice push to the upside but it uh, there was no uh, momentum continuation so it failed to make a new high above this uh, structure here as you see and uh, it pushed back down uh, start pushed back down directly the the second hour after the release we start seeing a, a evening star formation and uh, the price uh, pushed back down uh, on um, uj so uh, for uj i'm expecting possible continuation after this uh, impulse to the downside retest another failed new high here and uh, possible continuation toward uh, 108 is what i'm looking for but of course for more downside we want to see a break below this uh, area below the low of the nfp candles need to happen so for next week if we get a break below this area look for that continuation and uh, also keep an eye on the risk uh, sentiment in the market uh, if there is no clear um, deal uh, done between uh, US and China, which I'm expecting um, nothing more than uh, a failure to happen, uh, if that is the case and we, we feel that uh, it is failing, 
then keep looking for continuation to the downside on usage this is pretty strange uh, actually that you've got this uh, correction uh, or this move back uh, during the after the nfp uh, despite a uh, strong dollar overboard uh, New Zealand USD also uh, kept being strong uh, despite uh, the NFP numbers. Uh, this market is now above the 200 moving average and uh, since the break above this level it was clear that um, it, uh, it may continue to the upside and uh, to buy the dips we will uh, keep doing so. Uh, for now we have a nice uh, reversal pattern here, a nice bottom uh, is now completed looking for a retest a retest back down toward this area would be a good area to look at 1.6450 level to look for a possible continuation so start looking for bullish evidence if we get any retest toward this area that is what i'm looking for for next week a continuation uh, of this um, reversal that just started USD chief also um, a ranging market still going sideways um, still there is some room to tag these lows down here it didn't happen yet uh, we had a very strong push to the downside and last Friday um, after the NFP release we've got a nice bounce to the upside but compare this whole impulse this is just a blip in that um, in that case so um, there is a possibility for a higher correction and um, depends on uh, where this correction may end uh, if you want to add a fibonacci retracement move i see the th uh, the 60 percent as a good level 618 uh, level as a good area here uh, this could be our kill zone we have previous neckline and previous structure here also we have the monthly pivot point at the at this level so uh, there is a possibility that now after this uh, strong impulse to have uh, some kind of correction and if that is the case and the correction happened to be a slow one with uh, this kind of slope then to look for a possible bearish evidence here for the continuation back down in any case it is still a uh, ranging market so you need to keep an eye on this uh, bottom down here if the market will open and start pushing to the downside reach this level you could look for a possible bounce from this area if you get any bullish evidence and let's say this correction fails and the market keep pushing higher then we need to keep an eye on this level for possible selling pressure from the top of this range so that is what we have to do when we see a, a market uh, that is ranging and um, if you uh, want to really understand how to easily trade ranging markets i have a video done about that the link is in the description below you can just uh, click on that and watch it after this uh, overview uh, USD CAD so uh, this one had a very bad um, <coughs> numbers last week so if we take a look the unemployment change one was minus uh, 71.2k this is the lowest number uh, since uh, 2009 for the CAD and the the unemployment rate went up to 5.9 from uh, 5.5 at the same time we had the great nfp release for the us so it was a double whammy here and that's why you saw a very huge one hour candle here um, on uh, this market but in any case it did reach a key resistance level so uh, as for now this could be uh, profit taking only but it is a level to keep an eye at i think next week um, it is very important that we keep an eye on this level because what i'm looking at is that this first impulse we did actually break below this level we broke below this whole structure and um there was a void in the market here that got filled right now uh, after that nfp release and um, we have that um, um, speech from mr polos next week uh, that is uh, gonna happen on thursday as you see here uh, so uh, this is uh, also possible catalyst that you may see a reason for uh, the dollar if he is to be uh, keep being hawkish as he was when we've got this uh, push to the downside uh, there is uh, then a, 
a good reason for this market to start pushing to the downside so where the market is testing right now is a key area if there is no break above uh, for a possible continuation to reach the top here and the market failed to make a new high some kind of double top or something like that at this area i'm expecting one more push to the downside on uh, usd cat Aussie USD also still uh, bullish in this uh, after the break of this trend line we had a nice two days uh, momentum move to the upside making uh, a first uh, major higher low after this low here uh, this is now a major higher low we broke the trend line and we're still looking for correction and possible continuation back to the top or back to the 200 moving average on the daily time frame so if we go down to the four hour we see that uh, the price been squeezing in this uh, triangle there was a uh, attempt to break higher it failed uh, it went back down during the NFB to retest the uh, bottom uh, trend line here so now this is tested three times and confirmed this uh, trend line and uh, yeah a uh, clear uh, pennant uh, happening here this is the pole of the pennant and this is the triangle and um, usually after such a huge move like this and uh, the price starts squeezing you will be looking for a continuation move to the upside so uh, there is a possibility for that but first you need to see a break above this level to happen if that is the case start looking for the continuation another way to play it if this market will break to the downside keep an eye on this level here where we have the 50 percent uh, fibonacci retracement on this move and the monthly pivot point also add to that this uh, previous uh, structure of uh, both uh, support and resistance area it's been a key area here once again you see how many time it been tested as support and resistance so it is a pretty important level uh, down here any retest to that could be a possible area to look for a bullish continuation yeah so when these triangles start to happen usually you have uh, some fake outs before the real moves uh, start to happen so here we have the first one so there is a possibly some bulls are trapped there and if we see another failure and uh, the market reach at the monthly pivot point i will start looking to buy from this level for a continuation move on Aussie USD so uh, yeah guys that was it for today thanks a lot and uh, see you next week bye bye